doesn't lose to Tommy Morrison, well, well as he, I said, he will lose to Tommy Morrison. I rest my case, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. Morrison 100% so far, one for one. Obviously, this is a bout in which Tommy Morrison wants to get in the round. Well, let's just remember as we watch this, and we've had many, many great competitive matches recently. Yeah, that's very Doesn't true. make this one any better, but we have had a lot of them. Tommy just wanted the in-the-ring exposure, and of course, he's a heavy-handed puncher, and down for the second time. Morrison can pretty much just walk in and throw that hook, and he does have a devastating left hook. Well, that's it. At that Three knockdowns in a minute and 40 seconds. I bet I can make my interview go longer than the fight. I think you probably could. All right. I think you probably and could. And I'll bet you it will, too. Nahangos might have provided more competition if he had a chain on his head and was hanging from the seat. So he, he's been a little conservative to that side until he slows him down a little bit. Well, there's a left hand, and that puts Tucker. Well, it's simple. I, oh, man. I was just going to say, it's simple. He hits you with the left hook, you're gone. Most heavyweights are going to go. Our Tucker goes. You either get him first or he gets you. It, that, that's the whole deal with Tommy Morrison. I think that two-word sentence that you never had a chance to finish was exactly the thing to say. It's simple. Yeah, it is. In range, and there's that first strong left hook landing by Morrison. So a good left to the body. Crumples. Another left to the body. Tillman staggers across the ring, goes down in tremendous pain. The referee needn't bother counting. Tillman will not get up. That's it. I've never seen a guy get hit with a body shot and, and, and roll over like that or, or be pushed over. Quite simply, Al, I don't think he was in shape. No, and I think that's, that shot. that's why Morrison went to the body like that. And of course, Morrison is a good body punch. Uppercut by Morrison. Down goes to win. Still almost a minute left in the second round. Very bad technique by Tommy Morrison. Very bad. And it's the kind of thing they are going to have to fix. And another uppercut, Scott Tumbles. Throw the towel and it's over. Body work from Morrison there. You go to the body and then come up there. That's an uppercut by Odom. He's landing shots. And he's been hurt by what Morrison has thrown. You can see he's kind of hot. Which indicates that he's got a great respect for Morrison's power as well he should. This time it probably is well stopped. Now it is well stopped. going to question the power of Tommy Morrison. And the thing that they have to like about what Morrison did in this bout was, I think the combinations he threw, which were fairly... Seven. He throws those punches fast. I'm not exactly sure. Right, he wants him to get inside and get off quickly before he gets a chance to grab on. Good combination. And Holstein is down. And hurts. right hand and I don't think he's getting up that's it over he's out ну и дальше ой 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 какой удар справа там был как молот там просто ну и в конце концов два года назад в сентябре 13 года Томми Моррисон уйдет из жизни безусловно яркая личность была и очень-очень приличный боксер ой 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 достает левым боковым явно потрясен Дэн Мерфи Да, страшно это все смотреть. Три удара точно в цель. Ну зачем тут счет открывать? И снова левый боковой, и все. Ну хватило уже тут. И одновременно и рефери останавливает, и полотенце выбросили угол ирландца.
Well, really, Sean, that's been one of the main criticisms of Morrison. The same guy. Oh, my! But this one should be stopped. Merritt is defenseless, and he goes down again. It's okay. Back and to the Wolves. On. Once again, three knockdown rule is in effect. Merritt will try to weather the score. He has less oh, than 25 seconds to do it, and that's it. Kevin Champion stops him out. Quick and lethal was Tommy Morrison. Right to work. Tommy Morrison comes out and fires. I started to say that one of the criticisms of Tommy Morrison is that the same guy who fought such a smart fight against Foreman got careless and gets knocked out by Michael Benny. <laughs> to buy about 10 more seconds and it's a long one he will not do it right hand brown very active but goes down of marcellus brown is and he's going to get nailed over and over i think the end is just about upon us and there's the hook as randy pointed out over the lazy right hand and if this may in fact be the end It's over. Marcellus Brown, a victim at the hands of Tommy Morrison, who gets his knockout in the third round. Anderson coming on, taking the last round. The round before that, very close. A big body shot. And that was a beautiful left hook to the body. It sent Anderson down to the heat. That was vintage Tommy Morrison with the left hook to the body. It's going to end fight. Joe Hip, who really, oh. as big as he is, is not a power puncher, Dan. He's really kind of an arm puncher. Oh, oh. great uppercut by Morrison. And the first one we've seen. Oh, and a right to the chin. You can't fight with your mouth open. Oh, a good right hand by Morrison, and that hurts Joe Hip. Joe Hip is in trouble. Joe Hip is down. A right hand from Tommy Morrison. Staggers Joe Hip. Hey. Stops the fight. And Tommy Morrison summons the power today and it saves him in the ninth round. Nice guy, it's Mike AC, yes. but overmatched. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> down to one knee from a right hand. Laying down, he's landing. Oh my. That, that should be a, That was a left hand. One more and it's over. And I, I'd be, if I was a betting man, I'd say yes. There it goes. So much for that. Target practice for Tommy Morrison. Well, the only real question, remember he did cut that one time, and there is a little bit of red. I'm not sure again if that. It was Baulin's fight through the first four, and Morrison still oh. tied with a big left hand. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And Baulin's oh. hurt. Body shot. Oh, and now Olin hurt again. Turn his back. That's got to be it. A fighter four, turns his back. I can't two, believe that Smoger is actually three, letting him get away with this. Four. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Very well. Still trying to really to get himself back. But good left hand down goes Tillis. Tommy Morrison has come out blazing. And a good combination again by Morrison. A left and a right behind him. Number cut and down goes Tillis. This is a very... Good effort by Morrison, even if we're wondering if Tillis is... Well, there it is. That's it. And that's it, two minutes and two seconds. Or right. and 52 seconds. By addition, that would been very good. <laughs> but we get the point. Yes. They wanted that. James Quick Tillis, you know, he is a trial horse. This may spell the total end of him, even as a journeyman. But for this young man, he did something that not many people have done, and that's whack Tillis. Hey, it's over! Oh, well, he didn't need to go downstairs with that shot. Going Great downstairs hand. is Martin. And he stopped in the fourth. Morrison oh. going for it. Very compassionate with what Tommy Morrison is going through. This fight is over. And uh, Garza is donating his purse, as is Morrison.
to the knockout age foundation. So Tommy Morrison hardly breaks a sweat. No problem in breaking uh, any area around the skin. Tommy Morrison in the future will certainly go to school on. Robinson showed that he came here for a reason at least. Huge body shot. Incidentally, as an amateur, he lost in the Olympic trials. A big right hand followed up on the left by Morrison and Shelby. Oh, is in a seated position and may not make it up. A fight, and now he figures that experience really is his edge here. Rick Ennis has got a good right hand, which uh, I think would be a good hole. He's hurt already by the hook and blow his left hook. His legs back under it now, but he was really rocking with that hook. There's an uppercut, and that's probably going to be it. One more knock on it's over. That's it. Well stopped by Mills Lane. Impressive win against an experienced opponent for Tommy Morrison. I'm going to tell you something. Forget everything else. Uh, One thing about this face foul, right the left hook of Tommy Morrison is going to shift and go down and pack the three boxes. What a huge shot. You see him using the jab a little bit more. <laughs> trying to clear the left hook. Well, those 38 years may come into play in a hurry at 227 pounds. They're right. This fight. He has got to his feet, but he stopped the fight. Another first round knockout for Tommy the Duke Morrison. There's a little ring rust that can be understood, and yet he looks pretty sharp. It's kind of interesting because he is going to be, going to have, I should say, a lot of celebrity yeah. as soon as that movie gets released. He, he is Dolph Lundgren, and he is. Uh, Big shot there, down goes Morton in a heat. Exactly, it's interesting that unlike the others, he is currently a professional yeah. fighter and not yet of championship caliber. Fight for right hand, down he goes. Crashing right hand. I don't think he's Three. getting up. That's it, over. Down. He's out. Williams for well, the second knockdown of the fight. And this time he's hurt a little bit more badly. And Mills was Lane was saying that was an unintentional butt and there is blood coming from the top of the forehead of Morrison. That's right. There's a left hook. There well, Williams Williams has taken that left hook better and better. And now Carl's a little wobbly. And there's another left hook. And Morrison's got a chance to finish him off. Bang. Morrison with the right hand. He's going to throw the left hook one more time after the break here, and Carl Williams is in trouble. And yep. Williams is looking for the referee to stop the fight. He doesn't know where he is. And Williams is already busted up, and Mills and Lane has stopped it. the fight. Another dramatic power punching comeback for Tommy. <laughs> El ganador por knockout técnico, Tommy Duke Morrison.